What it do, baby? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Uh, we're about to get this thing started. Game number two of our doubleheader here tonight. I'm just trying to share this real quick in the Discord community. If you're not in there yet, go ahead and join. The link is in the description below. Well over 100 members at the point of this video. So I hope to see y'all in there. Let me just get this video shared right quick. All right. All right, let's get it. <clears throat> All right, we're shared. Alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed that last game. That was just absolutely bonkers. What a closeout performance by Nicholas Hall and the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. Oh my goodness. Yo, what up, Rocky? I'm doing good, buddy. That last game got me hyped. And we're about to get another dub here. Of course, this actually might be a pretty tough game. Um... C minus overall for Tennessee Tech, C plus for North Dakota State. But that defense of the Bison might be a little rough. Let me go ahead and load these stats right quick. What up, Marvin? How you doing? Tyler Rocky in the chat. My usuals. Don't forget to hit that like button. I love you. I don't know why this kicking stat take takes so long. It bothers me. Oh my goodness gracious. We broke our uh, live stream record on that last one. 17 viewers at one point. I would love to reach the 20 mark. That would be that would be so huge. Let's check out Tennessee Tech real quick and their passing leader here, David Battle. Richard senior quarterback, 21 touchdowns, 8 picks on the year, over 2,300 passing yards. And he's been sacked 13 times on the season. Their leading rusher is Shane Leak, Redshirt senior halfback, 609 yards, 8 touchdowns for him, and only one other player, David Battle, has a rushing touchdown. So we'll look to see a lot of Shane Leak here tonight. Leading receiver, Tony Wilkerson, true freshman, 59 catches, 810 yards, 8 scores. Then another true freshman, Robert Britton, 56 for 618 with seven touchdowns. Look, all these guys are true freshmen until Richard Cumby, the tight end. That is insane. Tom Schaefer in the chat. Tap out in the chat. What's up, brother? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Nine sacks for defensive tackle Jermaine Daniels, the true freshman. And Keith Freeman, true freshman middle linebacker. So a lot of young talent here. Getting it done for the Eagles. The Golden Eagles, that is. Not a whole lot of uh, fumbles recovered, though. No defensive touchdowns. Nick Leonard, uh, he was um, the winner of the Adam Vinatieri Award last season. We didn't actually officially give out those awards, but, I mean, I'm giving it to him. Really, we didn't get a whole lot of interest in those awards that I created myself. But maybe in the future we'll do that. You guys are up for that. And let's see. They have a kick return for a touchdown this year. Tony Wilkerson, 101 yarder. And no punt returns for touchdowns. But, I mean, this team could be a little bit scary here with all their talent being so young. Let's check out the Tennessee Tech schedule. See who they lost to so far this season. And they beat Northwestern State to start it out. Beat UNI. Beat number 24, Penn, in week four. And beat McNeese State by two. Then they lost a close one to Southeastern, 25-20. That was their first loss of the season. They beat Chattanooga by three. Lost to South Dakota State. Lost to Western Carolina. And then they just beat Southeast Missouri State by two touchdowns. Colin Northrup in the chat. How you doing, buddy? Coming to check out your team, see how they do tonight. You missed the last game, man. It was a heck of a game. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at the Big 12 standings as well. All right, Big 12 North. Now, North Dakota State, I believe, can still win the Big 12 North. Okay, they got to win this game. And South Dakota State has to lose their next game, which is their final conference game against the Furman Paladins. So it is still perfectly possible for North Dakota State to end up in the Big 12 title game taking on the VMI Cadets. That might be a mismatch for the Bison. But, I mean, it would still be a heck of a, a heck of a thing for them to accomplish under first-year head coach Colin Northrup getting to the Big 12 title game. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, I don't want to wear... Do I want to wear yellow jerseys, green pants? What are they wearing? All right, they got the purple. Yeah, we're going to go yellow with the green pants. Let's get it. 6-3 and three, North Dakota State Bison. Hosting the 6-3 and three Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles in the Fargo Dome. Let's get it, baby. Rocky Clearwater in the chat. Ray Sanger back in the chat. Appreciate you stopping by again, man. Hope you and yours are doing well. Give the baby some hugs and kisses from me. Gotta show some love. We'll see if Calvin Jasper Jr. can make the uh, thumbnail for this one without actually just, you know, throwing the football backwards and letting the other team have it. <laughs> that last thumbnail for the last game was crazy. Let's get it, Bison. Really good kick to the six-yard line. Zoomer speed on the return and a great tackle. Just needed one more block right there. Probably would have got 20 more yards. All right. Let's see what we can do here with the Bison. Let me pull up my roster here real quick and my uh, my notebook. Forgive me. All right, let's get it. Pull back dive. Starting it off, Cameron May falls down, picks up a yard. And the offense for the Bison is Calvin Jasper Jr. under center. Halfback Zoomer Speed, halfback slash linebacker to Oka Nanticoke. Fullback Cameron May. Ryan Ermodowski, number 13, at wide receiver. And here's Calvin pitching it out. And Speed breaking a tackle, only picks up four yards, though. At tight end for the Bison, Max Hawthorne, number 92. Anders Harliday at tackle, and Jake Harlow at the other tackle. My brother, Chaos Driven, in the chat. Did you watch that full game, brother? Did you? Because that last game was nuts. Third down and five here for the Bison. Play action. Uh-oh. Got to escape. Got to get that first. Let's go, Kelvin. I'll take that. I will take that. Tap out. You missed yesterday's sexy stream. I mean, you can still go watch them, man. They're still there. They're just waiting for you to slap that like button. Caress it. Give it some love. All right, let's get this. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Good push up front by the front seven. That is definitely the strong suit here for Tennessee Tech. They got that defensive tackle that has nine sacks on the year. True freshman. And Cameron May fighting, and he holds on to the football. My goodness. All right, let's go with a shotgun run here, maybe. Oh, it's third down and six. Quick slants. That's right, join that Discord. Get up in there. Thank you, Tom, for the link. Who wants it? Quick pass overthrown by Kelvin Jasper Jr. So we're going to have to punt it away, but that's okay. That is okay. Plenty of game. 
Road to monetization? Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. We're 150 subscribers away as I punt this out of bounds. Terrible. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. We are 150 subscribers away from 1,000. Preoccupied with the collage. Okay, I got you. I understand that. No worries. That was a heck of a game, though, man. Oh, nice run, nice run. I thought that was going to be play action. Nice tackle by uh, D.O. Langston. Number 15, the defensive end. The rest of the defense for the Bison is Austin Bracey and Zeke Marunde at linebacker. Bracey is number 55, Marunde number 49. And four-star freshman corner Rich Rodriguez is number six. He's on the opposite side of Oliver Vinson, and there is a nice catch by Leak getting the first down. And the Fargo Dome going wild. Almost have that stadium pulse halfway up. Let me at him. Oh, that should have been a pick. Oh, my goodness. Oh, did you see that clutch touchdown? Did you see that? <laughs> Game was bonkers, man. I love games like that. Oh, that should have been a pick, too. Come on, now. Now ain't the time to be forgetting your hands. Let's go, defense. Let's go. Crowd going crazy. Crowd going crazy. Deep shot. Down the middle. Oh, they almost deflected it to him. I would have I cried. I would have really just cried. You undefeated in your predictions this week? That's pretty cool, man. Especially with the uh, the Thunderbirds <laughs> and uh, Cal Poly Mustangs game that just happened. Oliver Vincent on the punt return. Oh, I got to call a fair catch. That's tough. I'm knocking down my waters in here. Oh, you came in just after the touchdown? Go back. Watch it. Watch that whole final drive. The whole, the whole fourth quarter, you got to go watch it. <laughs> it was awesome. Had me up out of my seat at one point. All right, Bison. Let's get it. Let's go, Cameron. Okay, seven yards. I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. I'm going to keep giving the big man the ball because he's going to keep breaking runs. Let's go, Cameron. Does he have the speed? No, he doesn't. There's no way. <laughs> Cameron may up past the 40. Let's go, baby. Big fullback rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling down the field. I love it. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? Triple option. Let's go. See if we can get up to 17 viewers again like last stream. Probably not. This game's not as big. Still has pretty big implications, though, as Kelvin Jasper Jr. gets down the field. Nice pitch. And speed up to the 22-yard line. Let's go. If only he had the speed of you or Tyler. Absolutely. Too bad he's a fullback. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Every time a man is wide open, my quarterback gets hit. Every time. And the pass goes five yards. Oh, my goodness. That, that play was just disgusting. Look at this. Look at this. You got Look at that pump fake. Middle linebacker. Looking like he's jumping off a trampoline. I got a man wide open. And of course I get hit and throw a pick. Of course. Of course. 
My goodness. You know what I've noticed, Marvin? I have noticed rain games in the dome. I have noticed rain. You love the channel? Can't believe you just discovered it this week. I can't believe it either, man. It's been almost three years since I've been doing this. Let's get him. Uh-oh. Okay, good, good tackle by Rich Rodriguez. Four-star freshman corner. with the nickel right here. Cover two. <laughs> Can of corn. <laughs> Let's go defense. Let's go baby. Uh oh, deep shot downfield. And one, one deflected away. Okay. Had to hold my breath for a second there. Another nice stop by the buys in the defense. Call a fair catch again. No, I'm not. Good block. Vincent up to the 44-yard line of Tennessee Tech. He saw that in one of Dawkins' 06 sciences that didn't go beyond the first season. Yeah, he had plenty of those, huh? He should have just stuck with SAU. That's just my opinion. Cameron May with a 12-yard carry and a first down. Oh, and I just want to show you guys. I know it was questioned before. Is it on Heisman? Yes, it is on Heisman. I just want to let you guys know. In case there's any haters out there. I still love you, though. You can hate, but I'm just going to love you. All right, let's go, Cameron. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Calvin. Gets the block, Kelvin Jasper Jr. to the house. Let's go, the Fargo Dome erupts. You know they're starting to do good. We're getting fans up in the top stands too. I love it. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I know he's stuck with SCU for a long time. He should have just done a whole dynasty. Just kept on going. I haven't watched him in so long. I don't know, his content kind of got stale because, I mean, he just kept changing his mind so much and running the freaking direct snap every other play. Kill him with kindness? Absolutely, Rocky. Absolutely. Okay, Nana Coke with the tackle. Okay. All right, I'm liking the way the Bison are playing so far today. Other than that ridiculous interception that's still irritating me. Nice sack. Let's go. And that is Clark, the incoming freshman that was added before week 10. I believe that's his second sack. With the Bison so far. I like it. Good old Jeffrey Clark, number 52, with the sack. What you gonna do? Oh, that should have been picked off by Vincent. Come on now. Yeah, I watch 06 Revival once in a while, too. Go defense, third down 17, pressured again. Let's go, baby. Jeffrey Clark, two sacks on the drive. Freshman linebacker, making his presence felt. Fourth down and 21. I'm really loving the way this defense is playing right now. Let's go, Vincent. 
Okay, I got the spin. Got a broken tackle. Oh, my goodness. Still going. Let's go, Vincent, with the wiggle sticks, baby. Come on, now. That was sexy. That was real nice. Oh, boy. That's going to be the final play of the first quarter. We'll end it on that one before I get... Jasper killed on the field. 7 nothing Bison on top here in the Fargo Dome. In front of a raucous crowd. Tenth game of the season for both squads. Two more games left in the regular season for both. And eight, Cameron May on the carry, and he's got the first down inside the 30 yard line. You're 7 0 on pick him, Tyler. That's pretty cool. Very nice, very nice. Okay, who wants it? Anna Coke, you want it. Let's go. Tahoka Nanticoke inside the 15-yard line. Seventh first down of the ball game for North Dakota State. Golden Eagles only have one. Zimmer speed wide open. Zimmer speed. Inside the five-yard line, first and goal upcoming. I was hoping he had the speed to get out of there and score, but just not quite fast enough. Cameron May dropped the line of scrimmage. A little unfortunate. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? Let's go to option. Cameron May. And he gets into the end zone. Or not Cameron May, Kelvin Jasper Jr. Touchdown, Bison. Let's go, baby. Next pick him, you're gonna side with whoever San Diego is going against for the rest of the season. That's so hurtful. You guys just don't trust my stick skills, and that that cuts deep. I can't even lie. Fourteen nothing, Bison on top here in Big Twelve action on the FCS Football Network. Here on Optimus Fine YouTube. Also, if you guys like wrestling, and obviously you like video games, you're here, go ahead and check out Wrestling Cup Classic. They use Fire Pro Wrestling. You guys can have your own wrestler, and we are going to be partnering with them. And they're going to be sponsoring some EFL games when they come out. And we have a link to their Discord in our Discord. It's in the gaming channel. Get on in there, create your own wrestler, and become the heavyweight champion of the world. It ain't my stick skills in San Diego you don't trust. I feel that. I do. They've had a rough go of it this season. Doesn't matter what I do with them. It's just been such a struggle every game. I don't get it either because we were winning those close games last season with San Diego. I don't know what changed. I think they just didn't get enough talent in recruiting, and that it really hurt them. And nice tackle there 
for Dio Langston. You can only trust Demetrius George to make a play on that squad. You know, I feel the same way, man. Absolutely. Primetime George. Just chuck it up. He'll come down with it. You want to be a wrestler, Tyler? Well, go into our 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 gaming. <laughs> I was about to say jamming. Our gaming channel in the Discord. If you can't find it, I will tag you in there, Tyler. And you can join their Discord and get your wrestling career started in Fire Pro Wrestling. I'm going to keep pounding this rock because it's working. That was, I didn't mean to spin. That was my bad. My bad, homie. WWE Smackdown, here comes the pain. You know, I like wrestling. Um, when it was WWF. <laughs> That's the last time I really watched it. That's right, Jamie. I said it. What's up? I'll create all the memes for the channel. I don't care. Wow, Jasper. Uh, if you had about, you know, 50 points more on your accuracy, that would have been a touchdown. Just saying. What's up? Encroachment. For season three, we'll see if the success or failure was the fluke for the Toreros. Yeah, that is true. I'm hoping we can get them back on track. Make the Pac-10 a little bit more uh, more crazy than it already is. That was a Connor throw. <laughs> yes, yes it was. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yes, my favorite. And The Rock. This could be good. Could be good. Oh, speed dropped at the line of scrimmage. No bueno. And my three favorite wrestlers, Stone Cold Steve Austin, number one. Rey Mysterio, Jr., number two. And The Rock, number three. That's my top three. And I'm sticking to it. Favorite tag team was probably the Hardy Brothers. That frog splash from the top ropes. You know what it is. You know. Those guys were just nasty. The high flyers. Stopped watching three years ago. It's repetitive. A little bit. Celebrity Deathmatch? Bruh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that show was great. Did you... Joe Clark or Jeffrey Clark just got his third sack of the game, huh? What? What is this man doing? He's playing out of his mind. Who spiked his Gatorade? Mysterio's still wrestling? Yeah, I know he is. I just I just can't watch wrestling anymore. I just can't do it. Oh, that should have been a pick for Vincent. Yeah, celebrity deathmatch was amazing. I heard it was coming back though. I read an article a couple months back that they were thinking about bringing it back to the TV, which would be insane. Put that shit on, or yeah, put, put that on Netflix. So I stopped myself from swearing. I've had a long day. <laughs> I'm about to say anything here today. Oliver Vincent on the return from the 20 yard line. This could be good. Oh, no. I needed one more block. Doesn't matter because there's clipping. Why? Clark is insane right now. Absolutely, dude. He's going crazy. Three sacks in the first half. Like, what? That's nuts. Braun Strowman? I don't even know who that is. What's up? Come on, May. Nice stiff arm. Okay. 13 yard carry. I like it. All of a sudden, your kids start DDTing each other. <laughs> oh, baby. I remember growing up, we had these little wrestlers. Uh, like, they weren't, I wouldn't say they're stuffed animals, obviously, but 
Um, I don't know what you would call him, honestly. Uh, but we had Hulk Hogan. We had uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. They were like these stuffed wrestlers, and you could just beat the heck out of them. Let's go, Joey Hall with a sliding catch. Oh, baby. All right, Tom. Take it easy, brother. You want to run a quarterback sweep, Colin? I got you. Let me just find one right quick. Quarterback sweep, let's get it. Yeah, the wrestling buddies. You know what I'm talking about, Marvin. You know. Quarterback sweep, let's get it. Oh, if Kelvin was just a little bit faster. Let's try from this formation. Let's get it. Yeah, the Ultimate Warrior. We had Ultimate Warrior. Uh, we had uh, Hulk Hogan. And I think one of us had Macho Man Randy Savage. Okay. I, I think uh, <laughs> we might be telling the quarterback sweep for now. Try that again later. We up to 13 viewers, even with the departure from Tom. Who wants it? Oh, Nanacoke, what's up? You don't want this. You don't want it. Nanacoke to the 24. Let's go, baby. Yeah, Macho Man was awesome, man. He was one of my favorites, too. Top five. Oh, that's a face mask and a half. Let's go, baby. Just want to let you guys know it took over 700 videos for me to curse on this channel. <laughs> and it was an accident, I swear. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. All right, 30 seconds left. Oh boy, that was rough. That was that was bad from the start. All right, we got one timeout left. I want to get in this end zone again. Yeah, those WWE announcers are crazy. Do they still got uh, what's his name, Jerry the King Lawler, and Jr. By God, <laughs> I love that guy. Let's go, Calvin. Inside the five, we go out of bounds. We got time to do another play here as well. Uh, third down. That's right, you were here for it. That's right. We go for speed here. I'm going for speed. He's open. Oh, oh, oh no! Come on, Boo Boo. What you doing? I can't believe you just dropped that. <laughs> That's crazy. That's all right, guys. I, I clicked the thing where it says the video is not for kids, so it's okay. There's a new company, AEW. What's that? Like I said, I haven't paid attention. I haven't done anything with wrestling in years. Let's go, Tahoka. Get him. Or not. Okay. That was almost dangerous. WWE Divas are the best. You know, the last... I remember the last thing that I watched <laughs> in wrestling was like the first time they did a tournament to decide the next diva or whatever. And I picked the redhead to win it, and she ended up winning it. I don't know if she's still wrestling or not, but I just thought that was really cool. Uh-oh, good tackle. And that's gonna be the end of the first half. North Dakota State on top, 17 to nothing.
It's all elite wrestling. Okay. They're trying to take uh, inspiration from the elite football league. I got you. Golden Eagles get the ball to start the third quarter. Who remembers the first XFL? I do. I remember Tommy Maddox in that championship game. Cussing in the huddle. They aren't called divas? Well, tell us, Colin. Give us some education, sir. Christy Hemi. I don't know, Marvin. I don't know, man. I just know she was a redhead, and she was hot. And that's all there is to it. Yo, give me that pick. Oh, come on. That should have been a pick. He hate me, good old Rod Smart. Play for the Carolina Panthers. Was it the uh, Memphis Maniacs, one of the teams? I think that was the one that I followed the most. I just love their their logo and their uniforms and stuff. Nice tackle by Zeke Marunde for the loss. Still waiting on that answer, Colin. Come on now. Tell us what they is, man. Tell us what they is. I know. I'm dumb. It's okay. Come on, defense. I thought we had another sack with Clark Craig there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're just called women wrestlers. That's it? What? You hope my wife didn't hear me about the redhead? Eh, she'll get over it. She'll be all right. Is a sucker for a redhead. Oh my goodness. How's that personal assistant treating you, Marvin? <laughs> God. Oh, let's try the quarterback sweep again. Jasper got a little bit of a rest there because of the half. Let's go, Kelvin. Uh-oh. Oh, they just don't block on the edge on that play for some reason. We'll try that again next year, Colin, when we get you some offensive linemen, buddy. Good lordy. They just got in there so fast. That's crazy. Redhead fever. Well, you know, my wife uh, <laughs> just dyed her hair red, so what's up? <laughs> no need, Marvin. I just said it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, Zoomer Speed with the clutch fumble recovery. Oh, my goodness. That was a little bit rough. Can't even lie. We are 2 of 5 on third downs. As I try to remain as professional as possible with all of our uh, shenanigans here today. There's a nice pass picked off again. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Don't worry, Colin. We'll get you some uh, some guards, some pulling guards on that play, and we'll get that quarterback sweep popping next season. That's the problem, man. We just don't have any good offensive linemen. Like, we got the tackles, but we need pulling guards on that. Get him! Let's go, baby. Nanako on the tackle. Second down and 16. Crowd still going crazy here tonight. Deep shot left side. Oliver brings it in coverage. He picks it off. Let's go! Is JU recruiting running back and wide receiver this year? If you guys stick around to the end of the video, I will show you what's going on in recruiting. Because trust me, <laughs> it has been a struggle. But yes, we are in the process of trying to get some running backs for JU. Receiver, I'm not so sure about. 
Can't remember if uh, Marvin put that on the in-season recruiting to-do list or not. He might have. I just I can't pull up my Discord on my computer because it'll all die. Let's go, Cameron May. What what a stiff arm. Let's go. First down. Okay. Okay. All right, we haven't really got Zoomer speed out in, you know. Oh my goodness, negative six yards of offense for Tennessee Tech? What? I did not even realize that. That is that is crazy. What in the world are you doing, Kelvin? That's it. I'm. T He's gonna be the thumbnail again. That's it. It's gonna be the same type of thing right here. That's what he gets. Like, what is what is that? Come on, Kelvin. <laughs> you gotta stop fumbling like this, man. You're gonna be the thumbnail each week. <laughs> that, that feels bad. It feels real bad. Yeah, I'll show you guys I'll show you guys the recruits uh, that we're in the process of trying to get. And the recruits that we've already got. Oh my goodness, there's a sack on Jasper. But after this game, we'll go right into the recruits and just we'll check those out real quick before we end the stream. This is rough right now, guys. Who won it? Who won it? I threw it too far. No, I didn't. Zoomer speed catches it. Let's go. Right at midfield, baby. Don't I control all 12 schools in the dynasty? Yes, I do. Go after the same players with all of your schools, then they have to go to one of those. Yeah, but <laughs> I, what I did, I made sure that I didn't really go after the same players with each school. Because I don't want them to really like compete for everybody. I want everybody to try to get you know as much talent as they can. That way you guys, the subscribers, have plenty of players to choose from when you want to create your own players. Let's go, Cameron. First down, about a 16-yard carry. Why well, it looks like he just straight up sucker punched him. Because <laughs> he might have. Maybe, maybe Calvin's just a little upset right now. And he wants to punch the world. I think, I'm pretty sure JU's going after a middle linebacker currently right now as well. Uh-oh. Oh, what a throw to Max Hawthorne. What? One of the best throws that Kelvin's ever had in his life. That was awesome. My goodness. I really want to get Zuber Speed involved a bit more. He's only got like one big catch and that's that's pretty much it. Been a defensive struggle here. And Max Hawthorne, another catch. Only maybe a yard on the play. But just a safe route. Alright, Hawthorne is on fire. Let's try to get the ball out to him again. Seven play, 81 yard drive. 2 10 off the clock. No, that's a sack immediately. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, my guy? Anders Harladay just lets the defensive end right through for the sack. Unbelievable. Crowd has every right to boo on that. Every right. We are three of seven on third downs tonight. Let's see if we can't convert this first down. And that's caught! By Moore inside the five down to the two. I didn't even throw it to him. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I tried to hit Romandowski on that. But I will take the first down. Hey, we're just going to forget you guys even saw those, those passing stats right there. Zuber Speed stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Laid out at the two by Freeman. 
That front seven is nasty for Tennessee Tech, man. I'll tell you what. They're going to be pretty good. I mean, they're already 6-3 and three this season, doing quite well. But if their team can get some recruits on offense, look out for the Golden Eagles next season. And May falls down at the one-yard line. My goodness. It's like trying to break into Fort Knox right now. Hopefully we can get this. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a face mask though. I'll take that. First down. Goodness gracious. Harliday is getting blown up on the right side of this field. Jasper's accuracy would be so much better if he had two or three more seconds to throw. Absolutely. These tackles, not very good. They are subscriber tackles, but my goodness. All right, Tyler, I got you. Quarterback sneak right here. Let's get it. And Kelvin Jasper Jr. gets into the end zone for the touchdown. And it looks like the Bison are going to run away with this win. Possibly. Possibly. Trying to be Arizona's O-line. Oof. <laughs> That's rough. They just need some guards. If they can get some guards, um, they'll be in good shape. Especially trying to run the option. Open up some lanes downfield a little bit better. This guy is slow as dirt. Oh my goodness. Not the return man, but the guy that I was trying to use. Nice tackle. <laughs> oh my goodness. When the O-line is in question, time for some shotgun formations. Hey man, I can only run what the head coach wants to run. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Colin wants to run Navy's offense. We go run Navy's offense. Oh, nice catch by Toupee. That's just the third first down for Tennessee Tech. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. I mean, you know, anything could happen. Three touchdowns, three two-point conversions. I've seen crazier things. They do only have 12 yards of offense, but anything can happen in college football. Come on, let me out of here. Come on, man. Leak with a five-yard carry. Finally home from work. You smell like Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, man, take it easy. Come on, Dome, go crazy. Go crazy. Can they hear it? Nope. They can't hear anything. Awesome. I love it. Who wants all the smoke? Do you? Oh, I destroyed him. Six hurries, three sacks, all by Jeffrey Clark here today. I think it was Toka Nanako who laid the hit on him. Sure was. Quarterback has a rocket for an arm. My goodness. Has this been the quickest game of the week? Oh, at 100%. 100%, man. The Bison usually have quick games because they run that option. Oh, how do you let him catch that, Oliver? Come on now. Look at that. Total offense per, uh, per game on the season 494. Today, 27. 27, folks. What? <laughs> Dang. Uh-oh. I got blown up right there. Leak with a nice carry. Picks up six or seven yards. Let's get it. I'm blitzing. Let's go, Bracey. Give me that sack. Strip sack, baby. And we get it. Tohoka Nantico on the recovery, baby. Let's go. That's that user skill, baby. 
It can't be matched. It can't be. It probably can be. 100%. I just like to talk trash sometimes. About 1% of my life is, is talking trash. Mostly to the computer. <laughs> Cameron May gets clotheslined at the line of scrimmage. Alright, let's try that one of these wide back sweeps like uh, Southern Utah failed to do 75 times tonight. Let's get it. This one's to, to Hoka Nanakoke. He just had the fumble recovery. These plays basically never work, and that is <laughs> that is why we don't run them. My goodness, what a hit. So Nanakoke recovers the fumble, and then he loses one. Oh, the irony. That's that freshman defensive tackle, isn't it? Yep. That guy's a beast. And, of course, Anders Harliday, number 69, just flopping around like a fish out of water trying to get that ball. My goodness, he's bad. All right, Tennessee Tech might get on the scoreboard here. Come on, defense. Step it up. Step it up. And another sack. This time it's D.O. Langston. Or was that a run play? Did they count that as a run? No, that's got to be play action pass. Okay, that's a sack for D.O. Langston. It's got to be 100%. Mask. That's just wonderful. <laughs> Colin Northrup on the sideline, yelling at his team. Just get the stop, guys. Let's go. I'm blitzing. Can I get him again? Oh, Vincent with a deflection. I wanted to use a pick right there. <laughs> I wanted one. All right, let's see what else we can do here. I think we're just going to go couple four. Get the fans behind us. Let's go. And another sack. Who got him this time? Let's see a number. Come on, give me a number, baby. And was that Clark again? Oh my goodness, Clark just got his fourth sack today. Oh my god, wow. That's unreal. Wow. There he is right at the defensive end right now. We got him all over the uh, formation subs. No! No! <laughs> That's unfortunate. My guy pretty much just bounced off of him like a pinball. Watch, see if you can see it. See if you can see it. Oh, I heard it. Couldn't really see it. That's an offensive lineman. That's unfortunate. Defense is exhausted. They're going to be going for two points here to make it a two-score ball game. Couldn't quite get the shutout. That was helpful. Oh, my goodness. And it's a 16-point ball game. An outstanding five-play, 15-yard drive right there. And we got that easily. Yeah, they scored. <laughs> Offensive lineman with a touchdown catch. Very unfortunate. I should have had a deflection at least on that, but my guy basically just 
pinballed off of the, the big guy. Aaron May up the middle, picks up seven yards. He's got to have over 100. Yes, he does. 16 carries, a buck 23 today for the big fullback. It's always nice when you don't have to 100% rely on your halfback to get all the rushing yards. Two of their players are on fire. That is unfortunate. I'm going to try to stay away from them if I can. And May first down. He does get destroyed by the star defensive lineman. It's over 1,300 rushing yards for his career. 14 touchdowns for the big fella. I'm sorry, Colin. Don't shake your head at me. So hurtful. Just run this clock down, get out of here with the dub, and improve to 7 and 3. That'd be so nice right now. And Cameron May again up the middle, and he's going to have six or seven more. And there's a look at his number 685 yards on the season, five touchdowns for the big guy. And he is looking a little bit tired. Fake it to him. What you want? What you going to do? Nothing. Zoomer speed. What's up? Touchdown. And that's the dagger, baby. He's just so shifty. <laughs> He's so shifty. Again, don't forget to slap that like button, folks. I appreciate you. I love you. And that kick is good. It's now 31 to 8. Just over a minute and a half left. Kelvin Jasper Jr. with a rare touchdown pass. Oh my goodness, where is the flags for all these clipping penalties right now? My goodness. What the world? And they don't get a flag for any of those blocks in the back. <laughs> but we get one for a face mask. Okay. I'm going to have to disagree there, Mr. Ref. Just, just slightly. Okay, okay, Zeke Marunde with the pick. All right. Over, Finite, Dunzo. Calvin Jasper Jr. did not show up to the chat in the stream tonight, but you know what? <laughs> he's gonna wake up and he's gonna see the thumbnail of him just dropping the football backwards again. And then he's going to cry himself right back to sleep. I'm here for it. Cameron May again with the carry. Five more yards for the big fella. It has been the Cameron May show here today for the Bison offense. And he's, he's exhausted again. All right, we're going to put... Zoomer speed there in the backfield. Jasper Jr., player of the game for the Bison. 176 yards passing, apparently. Is that passing yards? What? I just, I feel like that's not right. And Zoomer speed falls forward. He's got the first down. All right, Zoomer, we get it. First down, okay. Relax. Relax yourself. All right, we'll finally do a coach pick. Yeah. 
We'll get Nanakoke the ball one more time. If he fumbles it, I'm never handing him the football again. Ever. Ever. And there he goes up the middle to the 25-yard line. And we're going to have to run one more play, so I'm just going to kneel it down. And we are going to get out of here with that dub. Big win here for the Bison. They are going to be improving to 7-3 and three on the season. Tennessee Tech is going to fall to 6-4 and four for the year. Bison still have a shot at the Big 12 North title. At what point of the game was the dagger? Uh, it had to be the Zimmer Speed touchdown. It had to be. I mean, that made it 31 to, to 8. Before, the Golden Eagles, they could have still came back. All right, later, brother. Take it easy. All right, let's check out these stats real quick, and then we'll take a quick gander at the uh, recruits so far. Only 37 yards of offense for Tennessee Tech tonight. 371 for North Dakota State, 195 on the ground, 176 passing. That is crazy. I didn't think Kelvin had that many passing yards. Three fumbles for the Bison tonight. Only one loss, though. Two picks. And obviously, they won the time of possession battle. Too easy. Nine of 14, 176, one touchdown, two picks for Calvin. Sacked three times. Cameron May just was balling out. Zoomer Speed only got six carries, but he had 29 yards. And Calvin Jasper Jr. had three touchdowns on the ground to go along with his one touchdown pass. My goodness. And he also fumbled twice. Tyler Rocky, 8 0 in Pickham. You got to love it. Touchdown catch for Speedy. It's 75 yards receiving, though. Okay. Anders Harliday continues to be awful at right tackle. Two sacks allowed tonight. Jeffrey Clark, four tackles, all for a loss, all of them sacks. He, <laughs> he was just outrageous today. Marunde, one tackle for a loss and a pick. Look at all these tackles for loss. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tackles for a loss for the defense. And six sacks all by subscriber players. And two picks for the defense. Eight pass deflections. A forced fumble for Austin Bracey. One recovered for Nanakoke. No touchdowns. Um, John Long, one of one tonight. Adrian Madison. 37 and a half yard average on punts and a 36 yard punt return for Oliver Vincent and that is it for this game there's the players of the game Jasper Clark Speed McClellan Rutledge and Carr for the Golden Eagles like I said we're gonna go ahead and take a quick gander here's the final two games of the week we got Villanova two and seven on the season traveling to take on the second-ranked Dayton Flyers, who are 9-1 on the season. And then our final game of Week 12 is Idaho State, 2-6 at 2-7 San Diego Toreros. So let's go ahead and take a look at the in-season recruiting, as promised. All right. So, so far, the Bryant Bulldogs have recruited a four-star corner to go on the opposite side of Tadian Moss and a four-star receiver to help out LJ Topher and Snoopy Tucker in that receiving core but obviously don't pay attention to the the names the height weight all these players are going to be able to be customized by you guys the subscribers but this is who we're currently uh in the market for for bryant a couple tight ends a free safety a left end a fullback and another or not another wide receiver but we already got those two uh cal poly couple linebackers here, a halfback, a four-star halfback out of California, um, a fullback, and a strong safety to help out Ralph William for the Mustangs. They did get a three-star receiver, Bryant Dials. And let's see, Dayton, 
Dayton's got three players. They got two wide receivers, a four star and a three star, and a three star middle linebacker to help out Rob Orlandi when he gets tired. They're in the market for a left end here as well. John White, a center, and an outside linebacker. And for Jacksonville, it guys, it has been a struggle. These three players, I I just I couldn't get into their top three for some reason. And we lost them, all these linebackers. But we still got a linebacker here on the in-season recruiting. And I got 30 points in him right now. We're number one. And he's got a visit coming up uh, pretty soon, I believe. Or no, actually, I think he might have already visited. Okay. And there's also this defensive tackle. Uh, I know it says zero points on him, but do not worry about that. I, I took some points off of him for a second to try to get these running backs because... I mean, Jacksonville needs some running backs, and these are both five-star talents. So if we're able to get one of these two to commit after this week's games, I'm going to be putting all those points back into this defensive tackle. Uh, I took them out of, off of him because, I mean, Jacksonville's already got, what, four subscriber players on the defensive line right now. So they, they've got plenty of talent there, so it wouldn't be, you know, a heartbreaker if JU wasn't able to get him. Uh, North Dakota State so far has got a commitment from a three-star quarterback from Alabama. And that's pretty much it. We're in the top three for a bunch of uh, players as well. Um, free safety. I'm trying to get them some defense help here. 47 points into the free safety and some offensive linemen here. They need interior linemen, obviously. And a fullback to back up Cameron May would be nice. And another receiver would be fantastic. Because, uh, let's be honest, the, <laughs> the Bison don't really have a receiver. So, uh, Northern Colorado, I'm trying to get them a lot of defensive help here. Because they desperately need it. If they had uh, some players on their front seven, they, they could be undefeated right now. It's that simple. They did get a three-star receiver, though. That'll help them out a little bit. It's got 4-3-5 speed. So they desperately needed some speed on the outside for Thorell Stats and Aiden Davis to throw the ball to. South Dakota State so far has got a four-star corner, which is huge. They need help on defense. And a four-star receiver. And I'm trying to get them some help here on defense at safety, at linebacker. And right now I believe we're number one for all of them. We got a soft verbal from this guy. And a middle linebacker would just be phenomenal for South Dakota State. They need help in that run defense desperately. Uh, San Diego, I mean, with all the losses, I I have not gotten anybody to commit. I mean, we didn't even make it into these top fives for these guys. But with the, the way their season has been, it's been so hard for me to try to keep up with, with any of these guys. We are number one for this four-star receiver and for this four-star tight end. And we're also on his list number one for the defensive tackle and that's it I don't think we're gonna get this left end I think Montana's gonna edge us out and get him but I mean San Diego needed a lot of help on offense too and I mean I was told to go after mostly defense <laughs> for in-season recruiting so <laughs> I did what the head coach wanted but we're just we're struggling right now for them uh, Savannah State four-star corner Patrick Terrell Four-star quarterback. This is a dual-threat quarterback for the Tigers, so <laughs> he's got excellent discipline. So don't worry about him getting, you know, suspended or anything like that. Um, arm strength A plus, and B accuracy. I mean, he's he's a faster <laughs> Jeremy Carroll basically. Um, but I'm trying to get some linebackers here. We're number one on all these guys' lists. And let's see, Southern Utah. I took all the points off of this guy um, because we already got this guy. We got a five-star halfback right here. So we don't need that other one. But Southern Utah solidifies their halfback position with five-star talent and 4-3-5 speed. That is just fantastic. And A-minus hands, so we can catch out of the backfield. We also got him a four-star defensive end. And I believe... We are number one on all these except for one. Yeah, Sam Houston State is just barely number one for this tackle right now. But if we can get these linebackers, or this linebacker and this receiver, 
I mean, Southern Utah, they're already great this season. They're going to be even better next season. Yes, sir, this is what recruiting looks like, Tyler. And you see Davis. I got him a four-star wide receiver so far and a four-star guard because they desperately need some offensive line help. I'm trying to get him a center as well. We're number two behind Boise State right now. Number one for this defensive tackle to help out Caleb Chubb on the interior of that defensive line. And number one for this tight end, which would be huge because the Aggies, they do not have a subscriber tight end. And look at that, A-plus hands, a 4 6 40, and poor potential, but <laughs> that's okay. He's got excellent discipline, so he's going to be staying on the field for the Aggies if we can get him. And VMI, I'm trying to get them this four-star halfback. He's the only guy left. We're number one on his list, and he did not enjoy his visit to James Madison. But we went ahead. We got a five-star guard for the Cadets. That's huge. A four-star receiver, which is huge. A uh, three-star guard and a three-star strong safety. And that is it for the recruits so far in season. And hopefully after, you know, we play these last uh, couple games of week 12, you know, we can go ahead and add some more recruits, get some more commitments from them. But that was a quick little look at the recruiting. Uh, this is going to be the end of the video, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the doubleheader of streams tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow night with Dayton taking on Villanova and San Diego taking on Idaho State. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a great day tomorrow, and I will see you guys tomorrow night. And until then, take it easy, guys.